Before you launch your online course, you have to make sure that you've built anticipation so that your audience is ready for it and looking forward to its release. You'd never just want to spring a new product on your audience and say, hey, here's my new product, because most of the time, they don't really have context for it enough to appreciate it. That's why you always want to do a pre-launch sequence. So we're gonna talk about what that looks like, how to set one up on Kajabi in this video. This is day 41 of Crush It on Kajabi in 90 days. We're doing 90 straight days of videos all about your online business and how to start it, build it, and grow it on what I think is the best online business platform there is, which is Kajabi. If you're thinking about joining Kajabi, you can use my link below, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. With that, you get 30 free days, a 30-day free trial. I'm also gonna give you my $25,000 course launch email template. These are the exact emails and the exact email strategy that I use to launch my first course, which made over $25,000 in its first three launches. I'm gonna put that in your hands for free. And also, you're gonna get a 45-minute Zoom call with me, one-on-one, -on -one, where we can talk about your business, we can talk about Kajabi, talk about how to get the best possible start on that platform, and I'll make sure that you're set up and ready to go. All of that is a way to say thank you for using my link, which is an affiliate link, so when you use it, I do get a small commission, so I appreciate it very much. So if you're gonna jump onto Kajabi and you appreciate what we're doing on this channel, then you might as well use my link to do it. So as we get into this, Kajabi has actually a really great way to do this, which is pipelines. Now we're gonna talk more about pipelines in the coming weeks, and we're really gonna dive into what pipelines are and how to set them up. But what I wanna do is focus in on one aspect of pipelines, which is the email sequences that accompany them. Because essentially what a pipeline is, is a journey that your potential customer is going to go on through your ecosystem, through Kajabi. So a pipeline is everything from the opt-in to maybe what's on the thank you page to your lead magnet that you deliver to them to maybe a live webinar or an evergreen webinar that you have set up to a set of emails that launch a course to a sales page to a checkout page. You get the idea. And it's kind of this journey all the way through that your potential customer makes. But in every pipeline, there's always going to be email sequences. And we're gonna talk a lot about launch sequences, but I wanna make sure that we really hit on pre-launch sequences. In other words, before you ever officially announce your course or your product, you want to build anticipation to it. And to do that, you wanna have pre-launch content. One of the ways that I love to do this is through a system that Jeff Walker popularized, which is essentially, there's more to it than this, but it's essentially to have three pieces of content that lead up to the release of your product or lead up to the announcement of the launch of your product. So let me go back to an example that I have used. I launched my flagship course called Killer Sermons Academy. I built it, had it ready to go, put up all the, all the stuff, the landing pages, the checkout pages, sales pages, all that, it's all ready to go. But I didn't tell my audience that it was coming out yet. Instead, what I did is I said, hey, I'm gonna do a workshop that you're invited to. It's called the Killer Sermons Workshop. And so it was a three-part workshop over the course of about a week. So there'd be like one on Monday, and then another one on Wednesday, and another one on Thursday. And those three pieces of content, that workshop was only available on those certain days. And I'll show you this in future videos specifically, but what I'm getting at is that instead of just saying, hey, I've got this new course, the workshop and that content was valuable on its own. I'm teaching great hard teaching, like real actual teaching, but I'm building anticipation towards an even bigger resource and an even bigger way that they can get their problem solved and find a solution to this specific problem that this course is gonna solve. I'm building anticipation towards the release 
of a product. And that's really what this whole thing was about. That pre-launch sequence was yes, to serve my audience, but even more so, it was to build anticipation for the release of my product. Again, all of this is easy to do on Kajabi. So, what I wanna show you is the way you can build anticipation in an email sequence. So, these are the pipelines. So, let's just go to a product launch OVO, just as an example. Now, product launch OVO, OVO literally just stands for opt-in value offer. So the idea is that somebody opts in to your list and then they're given a set of emails over the course of a few days. And while those emails are coming through, they're also put through this pre-launch sequence where they have value one, value two, value three. That is a set of videos or trainings or teachings that lead up to the checkout page or the sales page where your course is provided and sold. I'm gonna go ahead and set this pipeline up just so you can see what these emails look like because there's 10 emails put in there and I wanna show you what this looks like from a pre-launch perspective. Okay, so it's built a pipeline and let's dig into this section right here which is the actual email sequence that's attached to both the pre-launch and the launch. So the very first thing they're gonna get is a lesson link. So this is, let's say they're subscribed to this because they opt in right away. The very first thing is a email that is this subject, the number one thing, which again, everything you see here is totally editable. That's the point. This is just their content to kind of help steer you in the right direction, but obviously you make it your own. But the thing I love about what Kajabi does is they go ahead and put ideas in there that you can build on. So the subject is, this is the number one thing. The goal of this email should create, the, the goal is that this email should create relatedness and tease the number one thing they need to learn to succeed in your topic area. Have you ever struggled with articulate your top audience's top one to three problems? I did too, just like you. I truly wanted to uh, whatever get reach this ambition or dream, but honestly, it was a struggle until I finally lear learned slash discovered, implemented this number one thing. It's the most important thing you should consider before you take action toward whatever. So then watch my lesson on your topic. Now, these lessons are the pre-launch material. So there's a screenshot of the video, and if they click on that, it takes them to part one of that three-part workshop. In my case, the Killer Sermons Workshop, it would be part one, they could go there and watch it right then. Now, I scheduled mine before a actual release where I had a launch week, but you can set this up in automation just as well, or you can say it's gonna be open on this date, and that's when this email goes out. But you can set it up however you would like to. So if we go back, that's the first email that goes out. The second one is a case study. This is just an idea where you've got maybe somebody who has implemented what you've done. Nothing demonstrates your expertise like a case study of someone implementing or exemplifying your teachings or practices. So case studies using real life example, like it's like a testimonial, it's very powerful. Encouragement and then official open. So you officially open and then it becomes a actual just course launch. So what we see here is we don't want to just spring it on our people and say, I'm launching a course and it opens today because we don't want that to fall on deaf ears and it just be crickets chirping because no one was ready for it. You didn't build any anticipation. What a pre-launch sequence does is it begins to show and hint towards something is coming and it's really gonna be exciting. And by holding out just a little bit and not saying the whole story, not telling the whole story, but saying, hey, tomorrow I'm gonna to tell you about something or in the next workshop, I've got something really cool to tell you and you're building anticipation towards it. And then when you talk about it, it's not even open yet. When you finally reveal it, you're like, this is opening tomorrow at 9 a.m., right? So you're building that anticipation. And then tomorrow at 9 a.m. when it opens, that's when we start the actual launch sequence. So if you have that mini course ready to go that we talked about earlier in this series, 
do not just launch it, but think about what is one or two or three pieces of free training that is a great complement to the course, that is a great lead-in to the course that you could use as pre-launch material and build a pre-launch email sequence around it. Outline it, shoot the videos for it, and build it into your launch plan, a pre-launch sequence so that people know something cool is coming. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and jump on Kajabi using my link below. Go ahead and get that 30-day free trial. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the future videos in this series. And let me know in the comments what questions you have about Kajabi, about online business, or anything you would like me to cover in this series. And I'll be sure to address it in future videos. At this point, if you have more questions about Kajabi, you can click on this playlist right here, where I'll be right inside. I'm, I'm in that playlist. So if you click on that playlist, I'll be in there and we'll talk more about Kajabi right there. So click right there and I'll see you in that playlist.